Welcome! A Ducati episode. I know I'm doing that like it's the Ducati behind me. It's not. That's the mongrel. But it is a Ducati episode. It is not the mold making video, although the mold has been made, but it's that's not what we're doing today because there's a bit more work to be done on that. There's a fairing to be filmed as well. But good news, the weather has been a little bit kinder to us, but today it's not so much. Do you know what? It it actually reads eight degrees today but it's so cold it is not eight degrees and it's still a bit too chilly to actually do anything in here with resins and anything like that especially carbon fiber when it comes to the carbon fiber it has to be 15 degrees that is the optimum setting temperature for the el2 laminate that we're using on that but today excitingly cam belts or cam belt covers for the ducati these are the existing cam belt covers as you can see it's that 90 degree v twin although it's, these are deceiving because they don't look 90 degree, they actually look further apart than 90 degree, but the engine is 90 degree. But these are two covers, two separate covers. On the 600, which I've got, it's two separate colours, I believe on the 620. I think this bottom one splits up into another cover, so I think it's three covers in total. But anyway, we're doing the 600. Now these covers are interchangeable between your 620 and everything like that. But what I'm going to do is, I these are stock. They're okay, they're okay for what they are. The nice thing I've seen on Ducati builds especially is when you can actually see the cam belt behind. And I know that brings up a lot of issues like debris and everything coming into your cam belts. There are ways around that. You can use plexiglass to stop any dirt from getting into your cam belts. Or you can run the chance of just having it open. Simple enough. But I do like the idea of having an aluminium CNC to cover on the side of the cam belt covers on the side kind of continues that theme and that look that I'm going for. What I can do is create a very fine pan on these so you can still see the cam belts but ultimately it does have a cover on. So that is what I'm going to do today is create in my 3D programs. Today is Fusion 360 in case a lot of you will ask what it is. Fusion 360 model up the cam belt covers in the style that I like and then we'll also get some prototypes out on the 3D printer. Probably too big to print in one section on the 3D printer. Probably have to halve these up. But that is the plan. And then we can put it on the engine itself and actually test to see what it looks like. Let's do it.
here we have it, the full set. One. Two. The third one slots up there. And then the fourth one goes on the end. Perfect. So here it is. One thing I can see straight away is that obviously where it's been printed one section, it fits. So these two bolts fit there. And these three bolts, there's two under there as well, fit perfectly on there. So that's fine. As you can see here, there's a bit of wedging going on between these two parts. Now, I know, same down here as well, there's a bit of edging going on. I know there's a bit of extrapolation that goes on with 3D printing, it's not gonna print the most perfect of slices down there. There's gonna be a bit of bulging, a bit of movement, because ultimately this stuff is wedged down tight and it spreads out as it's being printed. So there will be a bit of movement. You can even see here down with that logo down there, it, it won't print anything that perfect. So. Like there's a margin of error here. So I need to make sure that the distance between that screw and that bolt there on my 3D drawings are exactly what it is on here. And that's easy enough to measure. That's a simple measurement to do. Same with up here and down there. If I know that my 3D drawings, oh, there's a bit of dust in there. If I know that my 3D drawings are fine against these measurements, then I've got no worries about that. But that is just one thing I wanna check, but I'm pretty certain that's all it is. It looks awesome. Even if I say so myself, the cam belt, you can see the cam wheel in there, uh, or the pulley, right at the top. Cam belts then go down, you've got this tensioner wheel there. So you're gonna see that all moving inside, more so when it's gonna be silver and aluminium. You'll see the black inside a lot better than that. And the same down here as well. You've got another tensioner wheel there, and that's the cam that goes up against that tensioner. And that actually wraps quite neatly around that wheel there and same here actually it does all fit really neatly on this i think it's a pretty good job next thing i need to do now like i said check all the measurements and then get it made out of aluminium and that is all from me for today's video next week's video will more than likely be the split mold for the actual tank and the body for the ducati we'll have that done and we'll be in a position then when we can actually go and make it out of carbon fiber exciting times and then the week after that probably the mongrel so there's a lot going on if you like what you see subscribe follow me on instagram as well visit fortheboldindustries.com if you want to see if there's any merchandise there that you may like that will support the channel in that way without your support from viewing from liking from commenting and things like that honestly this channel would not exist so thanks to everyone for that until next week go create something <laughs>